Space Systems Engineering Program is an Alaska Space Grant sponsored program at UAF and the whole point of the program is to get interdisciplinary students, meaning engineering students, mechanical, electrical, computer science, computer engineering, physics students, pretty much anybody who's interested in space, space engineering, space systems, to get together and to work on projects. This is the current project that we're working in the Space Systems Engineering Lab. This is a CubeSat. We have students ranging from freshmen all the way to graduate students working on this project. We have students that are CS, which do all of the software programming for the satellite. Electrical engineers, they do all of the electrical board designs and layout. Mechanical students design the structure for the satellite. And it takes all of the teamwork with all of the students to be able to put this together. Projects that we work on are intended by design to be larger than a homework set, larger than a semester-long project, to really be the type of projects that you would encounter in if you worked for NASA or if you worked for Lockheed Martin or if you worked for Boeing, uh, so that students get the experience of a full design cycle and everything it takes to bring um, a concept to an actual complete component or a complete part. One of the ongoing projects in the Space Grant Program is DARS. It's a deployable Alaska research sail that deploys a large-scale sail in zero gravity. DARS started in 2015 as a design concept, and from there we started doing a mechanical design of prototyping, with 3D printing, and testing the design. Once DARS had a solid proof of concept, we started writing a proposal, and from there the proposal was accepted and we started with a more serious design concept. DARS has a team of people working on the project currently, and we are now considering an actual launch date. The students that gravitate to this lab are the students who are really proactively interested in developing their engineering skills. I mean, they want to be here. I think this lab has been important to me because you don't actually get to start the engineering design process until you're, you know, four years into your degree, but I get to start it as early as being a freshman, and that's important. Over the years, we have formulated um, a lab that works off of an apprenticeship model. Our apprenticeship model is really about students teaching students how to do engineering. Um, peer uh, instruction, if you will. When new students come into the lab, they get to choose a project and they get to work on the project for however long it takes. So if they ever get stuck on any aspect of it, they can ask for upperclassmen help or graduate student help. I find SSCB to be very unique in, in that it's less controlled by faculty and more controlled by undergraduates and graduate students, with emphasis on undergraduates. So NASA put out a call for an undergraduate student instrument project. The students themselves wrote the proposal, we submitted the proposal, and the students were funded $200,000. These are undergraduate students that wrote that. So that's the value of this lab. 